All right, so we're back. And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I was actually on vacation this week in Southern Utah. So here's a drone shot. And while you're looking at that, um, we're back home today. It is Saturday. It's getting a little later in the day. I need to get a video recorded and out today to stay on schedule here. So we're gonna try to fix the window on the 240. Not so much fix it, but we're gonna try to get the window up all the way. So at least when we close the door and go out for a drive in the winter time, the window's closed and we're not getting frostbite. Just gotta take the door card off and look to see what needs to be raised. Hopefully it's not hopefully it's not too hard actually. I don't know yet. Still a mess. And there's not much room, but we're gonna work with this because it's 28 degrees outside and I don't want to pull the car out. Got a bunch of tools laid out. I don't know what we're actually gonna need, so some needle nose. Uh, I know I need this Phillips head because I gotta take a couple screws out. Let's see. Give it a little yank. One of, the, one of the things I looked up online to roll it up manually, um, you could actually jump out the window motor because there's a window amplifier, I think they were saying, in the driver's side, which could be the problem. But I'm gonna try to jump this out. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do it off the little um, trickle charger, but I'm not sure if the trickle charger actually puts out 12 volts, so I should probably go check that. All right, I just checked it, it doesn't. So I guess it has some sort of better technology than you would think of, so I guess when you hit these together, it doesn't do anything. When it plug into the battery, it does something. So I'm gonna have to extend these wires. As I was making these wires, I remembered that there, I have a power right at the front of the car in the footwell, and there's a ground over there somewhere, so we just need a power and a ground. I made them separate colors just for easier for me, but uh, I'm not even sure if this is gonna work. Let's go look. So you guys are on a very weird spot, but this is the plug here for your window regulator. This other side of that is the one that's going into like your little harness for your switch. So, um, well, it's obviously not gonna work now, but, cause that's unplugged. So let's see, there's a plug in here. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is, doesn't look large enough. I don't know if those are actually touching, but you don't want them to touch when you touch power. So I got grounds under there, hold on. So that's uh, power right there, and then I got ground right here. So I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully it works. Keep your fingers crossed for me. I gotta move you from that spot because you're in the way. Now there's a chance the wires in the plug aren't actually touching anything, so keep that in mind. Um, if this doesn't work, you basically just have to swap the wires around, but I may have not made the ground long enough to swap that around. My fault. That didn't work. Okay, wire came out. Hold on. Ooh wee. Okay, okay. So that worked. Uh, let me take you in there to show you exactly what I did. So first off, according to sources that I read on the internet, which makes me a professional now, there's a window amplifier in the driver's side. So that's probably what went bad. Don't know where the hell that is. So that's gonna have to get changed to make this work from what it seems like. So let me show you what I did now. So this is the plug coming from the harness and this is the plug, the plug side going to the window regulator, which goes right in there. Your switch is right here. So when we plug that together, that's not gonna work. But I mean, it's not going to work because that's not unplugged right, because that's unplugged right now. But when that's together, that wasn't working. So I took this plug out, that's the switch side. Then I took two wires, it could be any colors really, I just happen to have red and black. I put an end like that on it, which was actually a little on the larger side and stuffed it in this plug just to make sure that you're getting contact with the pins on the inside. Then the other end of the wire, 
that's a power for me. You could do it with your battery terminal or any other power source. Um, one wire touch there and then one wire touch to ground, which happens to be for th there for me, which I think is on every 240 is also there. But that's where the ground was. If your window doesn't go up, just take the wire you were touching there, touch it to there. Just swap your wires around and, and do it again. So obviously one wire goes to power, one wire goes to ground. If it doesn't work, swap those. If it doesn't work, then it's probably your window regulator. Let me get this door back together. Windows closed. So the window's up. It wasn't that much of a pain in the ass, but I kind of did it the not exactly preferred way to do it. But in a pinch, that's how you get the window up. Driver's side still works. Maybe I, maybe just something came unplugged or I gotta do a little research into what the, where the window amplifier is. Like I said, maybe it's just something as simple as something's unplugged or a ground's missing. Just like the way the windshield wipers weren't working and all I needed was a ground. Hopefully it's something that simple. Let me go get the key before I forget. Left the key in the car with the uh, with it on the ignition just in case it started working. Didn't want to forget that for sure. So that's it. Like I said, I was trying to keep it very chill today because I'm running out of time to get this video posted, got to edit it and all that and all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you just I hope it was entertaining enough. And that's it. Look at the drone shot again, I guess. And I will see you guys in the next one. We post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button, and leave some comments down below for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.